Okay, I figured I'd share with you guys another unboxing video, and I started it, and I got a phone call, and it cut my video off, so I'm doing another one. But anyway, I wanted to show you the shells that I ordered. I ordered from Richard's Seashells, and all the shells that I ordered, I tried to get under an inch, around an inch, or a little over an inch, because I need ones that are between, like, 5 eighths inch to a little over an inch, so that's the main size I needed, so that's what I got. First of all, I got two banded tap tapestry shells dark brown they were 95 cents a piece and that's these and then I got two green turbo shells polished these were $1.25 a piece very pretty and then I got two green turbo shells with the large white stripe they're $1.25 a piece and this is the second time I've ordered from Richards, and I'll tell you, I'm happy, very happy. Um, more happy now because they actually have the opening sizes listed on the, the, um, the things on the, online because they didn't have that before. And I got all the shells I got the last time were like way too big, so they can't use them even yet. So these ones are more their size. Let's see, this one's the green turbo shell, not polished, and they're 95 cents a piece. These ones, I like these. They're real natural looking. And then I got a Magpie, black and white, polished. It was $2.95. And then I got a Silver Mouth Turbo, pearlized shell. It was $0.95. Cents. Very pretty. And then this one is wrapped up. Let's check him out. This one was the Silver Pika Pearl shell magpie pearl $4.95 I paid five dollars for this one and it is very pretty I like that one I'm thinking it's way too big though I don't know I'll have to measure them but it looks really really it looks too big especially compared to the other shells but sometimes that doesn't make the opening size any different um black murex shell is my last one and I have the one crab I have a since June. She will not, he will not change out of his painted shell. It's a rainbow shell. And I've tried everything. I keep getting new shells. Well, these are all around his size, so I'm hoping that he switches. And this one mainly, I'm thinking, because he's in kind of like a conch type shell. I'm not exactly sure what kind it is, and I can't find it. Um, but this is very similar to what he's in, so he might use this black Murex, and it was a dollar seventy-five. But if you ever want to order from Richards, I definitely recommend them. I'll take them out of the bag and let you see them better. Okay, here they are. Now I'm going to measure the openings. Hopefully, I got at least half of them. Will fit them good. I'm hoping that at least one of these encourages my the one I've had since June posy to change. I have another one that hasn't changed yet for a while, but it hasn't been quite as long as the other one, so I'm hoping that the rainbow one will change. But if you guys are thinking about ordering from Richards, I really recommend it. Um, this one's a little more messy. Usually they're not like that. It's the first one I've gotten from them that was a little messy. But it's still beautiful. And the other one's pretty perfect. It looks good. But, let's see. There's the green polished. There's the green polished with the white stripe. And these are called green turbos, unpolished. They don't look like green, but maybe I guess when you polish them they do. I'm not exactly sure. I thought they were called something else, like a Mexican turbo or something, but I could be wrong. And then the Pika shell. And these are supposed to be around the same size openings. So, I don't know. Unless I read it wrong. So, but yeah, this is a beautiful shell. Just, I'm thinking it's too big though. It's gorgeous though. Look how beautiful that is. And that black murex is pretty nice too. I have a huge one like this. So, but not that size. So I'm getting my shell collection up there. Um, maybe one day I'll do a video and show you guys 
all the shells that I do have when I get them all out to boil them and clean them because I do that every so often um, it encourages your crabs to change shells if you take them all out boil them for a couple minutes five minutes I'd say turn it off let the water cool dump the water out put fresh your marine salt water mixed with instant ocean and um, uh, the prime dechlorinated salt water um, let them soak in that for a little bit and supposedly that encourages them to change so um, and it's worked for me I have one that changes quite often the other ones just won't change but yeah I just wanted to show you guys my shells and again I'll tell you the prices real quick top two were 95 cents a piece the greens next down was $1.25 a piece and the green with the white stripe next down is $1.25 a piece. And then these ones were $0.95 cents a piece. This was $2.95. This one was $0.95. This one was $4.95. And the Murex was $1.75. So, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. I hope you guys enjoyed the shells. And I'll try to do some more videos here soon. Bye.